Hey there folks, John here with Two Mind Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife review. Today we'll be looking at the Wii Knife Company 901B Deacon. This video is designed to be a supplement to the written photo review that can be found on ThroughMyLens.org. You'll find a link in the description box to the written photo review. Highly recommend you check that out. Uh, it'll have a lot of great photography as well as a lot of the details uh, and deep dive into the specifications and so forth uh, that most knife collectors will want to see. Uh, this video, again, is just designed to get some video footage of the knife out there. So with that, let me go ahead and take the Deacon out of the zipper case. And I wanted to show off the zipper case uh, because uh, I've been wanting to get one of these Wii Knife zipper cases forever to check it out. And it's really nice. Look at the fur that's that's in there. Uh, I like, this is a very nice, very usable cleaning cloth that comes with it. Uh, and the case is a, is a very good size, probably a little bigger than really what's necessary for the knife. We'll go ahead and set that aside, but um, really like that nylon zipper case that, uh, uh, that comes with the knife. Um, I had thought I would get one with this, this example. This is my first wee knife that I ever got, the Escaton. Uh, I got it after, um, SHOT Show last year. I got hands-on with it last year at SHOT Show and decided to get it. Um, uh, but unfortunately, it did not come with a zipper pouch. And I'm thinking because speculation is we knife company uh, lost money with every one of every one of these that they sold uh, uh, because of all the technical uh, details and features that this knife design has. Um, but I finally got a Wii knife with uh, the zipper case, so I'm very happy. Now, I have been looking for what I'll call a gentleman folder knife for quite some time. Uh, kind of a, you know, your Sunday going to church uh, knife. And I think that's why they call it the Deacon. Um, don't know that for sure, but church Deacon, going to church, dressing up. Anyway, that's uh, that's kind of what I'm going with. And this knife is uh, a real departure from most of the knives that are in my collection. Um, here's an, ex uh, an example of what I carry a lot. Uh, this is a ZT. If you know my channel, you know I'm a ZT guy, and I carry a lot of uh, their tactical folders like this one, usually around the three and a half inch mark, something that can um, be used in a defensive purpose. Uh, if need be. And I've got several examples of ZT, um, these uh, uh, titanium frame lock knives like this one. Uh, this one was new last year. Interestingly enough, uh, uh, SHOT Show just ended, uh, SHOT Show 2019, and ZT's really not come out with anything uh, that I'm excited about this year, unfortunately. Maybe they'll uh, debut more next year. I think they're going to uh, stop kind of trying to get all their new knives out at SHOT Show. That's what I'm hearing anyway, but what I saw at SHOT Show, there wasn't anything that really interested me there. But uh, this particular knife from Wii did interest me. Uh, it was released actually just a few weeks before SHOT Show in January and uh, uh, has been on the market for a little while. I don't think it's getting a lot of attention, quite honestly, uh, for a lot of different reasons, mainly because I think Wii Knife Company puts out so many darn knives and so many darn variations. This particular knife can be found in, I think, four different colors. Um, you know, the, generally speaking, the, the ones that are either, you know, black or gray or, or blue are the only ones that interest me. The, uh, the green ones, the purple ones, or the yellow ones, uh, just not my thing. But uh, this one really is the first, what I'll call regular production Wii knife that has really hit a home run with me. It kind of reminds me of some of the higher end uh, custom knives that you will see or semi-customs out there um, uh, from uh, you know very high end manufacturers that uh, it's got that uh, bolster look to it. The carbon fiber scales uh, on both sides are just beautifully sculptured and just look so classy and gorgeous. Uh, you see the nice mill titanium uh, pocket clip, uh, although I won't use the top pocket clip for, with a knife like this. This goes um, uh, deep into the pocket without a clip, the way I'll be using it. 
that very nicely milled uh, backspacer, uh, titanium backspacer that kind of wraps around the bottom of the knife is, uh, as hopefully you can see there. Um, very well done. The locking me mechanism is kind of interesting. When I first saw it, I thought that it was a frame lock kind of integrated into the uh, carbon fiber scales, much like Zero Tolerance has done with the past. Um, an example of that being uh, the, na the Natrix, the Kershaw Natrix. Um, you can see that there, uh, the, the lock bar mechanism is integrated right into the uh, G10 hand handle scales. Um, but that's not what we has done with this particular knife. There, um, uh, the locking face, which which does have a steel insert, uh, by the way, very nice feature. Uh, it's uh, uh, there are some uh, liners on both sides of the interior of the carbon fiber, um, and the the locking face uh, or locking mechanism does uh, connect directly to that. So some might call this a liner lock, some might call it a bolster lock. Um, I'm not really sure, uh, but I do like it. It operates more akin to a frame lock. Uh, the lockup is very good. I would call it about 50%. Um, unlocks very easily. Uh, very, very smooth action, of course, with uh, ceramic bearings uh, in this knife. Um, just really, really nice. I haven't done anything to this knife. Um, fired up, probably, I would call that detent, probably about a medium detent. Um, not uh, not a lot of effort needed to overcome, but it still um, comes out very, very smoothly. I mean, we is just producing some of the nice nicest mechanisms uh, that are out there, uh, truly. Bowler M390 blade steel, my favorite blade steel <clears throat> that uh, that you can put it um, uh, uh, in a knife. I really like that. Most website descriptions will call that a bead blasted finished, although according to we, they call it a hand rubbed finish. Um, I could tell you that bead blasting that would not get that consistent of a, of a, or a smooth finish. I've, I've never seen a bead blasted finish that would look that nice. So I tend to believe that yes, that is hand rubbed as opposed to uh, throwing the blade in with some some media or uh, uh, or hitting it or spraying it. Um, just just gorgeous. You can see that the spine is uh, rounded. Uh, there is some jimping here. It's not particularly functional. It doesn't grab real well. Um, <clears throat> that's okay. Again, gentleman folder here. Uh, I doubt I'll even do it any cut cutting with it. I just, you know, was looking for when I dress up and I'm uh, and I'm looking sharp and I want to have a, a nice knife of distinction, some pocket jewelry, if you will. Um, this this is the ticket right here, and I wanted something that uh, kind of captures uh, the look and feel of some of those, uh, you know, higher end custom knives, not not tactical in any way, shape, or form, but a knife that, uh, you know, just it has a lot of quality and, and class, and, and this knife captures that very well. Retail price on this, um, I don't remember the exact retail price. I know they go for just a shade over 250 I think like 253 So right in that two to $300 mark, which... Uh, uh, which I like. Uh, that's kind of where I'm comfortable. Uh, some people would never pay that much for a pocket knife. Uh, some people, that's pocket change uh, for some of these real high-end customs that you have to go on a waiting list uh, that I would never be willing to do. Um, but such a nice knife. Um, you know, again, we makes so, so many knives and they now they've come out with their Civivi line, which you know, here here's an example of, of one from the Civivi line uh, that I got later last year, and I just want to kind of compare and contrast it to this to this Wii. Again, this com comes in a nice uh, pocket case or uh, zipper case too. Um, 
you know, the, the same cloth, and it's a little different color, different logo, but the same cloth, nice zipper case. Uh, the the Civivi, this is a G10 uh, liner lock, three and a half inch. Um, I forget the blade steel, but it's an, it's one of your more inexpensive blade steels. And, uh, you know, I for the money, I think it was like maybe $60, if that. Um, the pocket clip, nothing to write home about, but a nice pocket clip. I mean, for a knife that's under, well under $100 that, you know, I could beat up on, I, um, you know, I, you can't go wrong with it. But the, the, the mechanism, the action on this um, is so very similar. It, it, it feels really, really, really good. Um, it has that same smoothness. Obviously, it's a bigger knife, you know, with a different purpose. Um, but we just making so many knives, and the lines really blur. And the the Civivi budget line and and the Wee line, Wee's got some under, and their Wee proper line, they've got some under, you know, hundred dollar or slightly, you know, thereabouts knives as well. So I just think Wee makes too too many knives, but. Um, and so many of them are kind of out there for me in terms of the color or, or uh, you know, maybe they're too big or too small or just um, a lot of them are very, very Asian um, influenced in style, which kind of isn't my thing. But this one, you know, really, really strikes a chord and I think it deserves a lot of attention. I hope they sell a bunch of these uh, because at the money that they charge for it, you really can't go wrong. Um, it just, you know, hit a home run with me. Um, that's really all I've got to, to say about this one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. But again, check out the written review on, on uh, the written photo review on Through My Lens. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments of the video or on throughmylens.org. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.